in uh, Geneva. And we were so happy that that resolution covered up all aspects of our needs. And that is a resolution was for discussion. Uh, Robert Husbands was the Secretary General at that time in that conference, etc. And I know you because he was also in the third committee where I brought this issue very strongly uh, against India. So he was very helpful in, the, in these matters. And when we found that these people, Indian government, was very obstinate to oppose it. So we had a meeting and we told Norway and Denmark, Norway and uh, uh, Canada, not to dilute it, which Indian government was asking his diplomats. So they said that, okay, we cannot agree on this one, we'll keep it at the end for discussion. That was postponed. And there was an issue of uh, these countries, uh, Palestinian issue, that became very strong. So the whole thing, there were few, about eight or ten clauses of that conference were delayed for that reason, for final discussion, and the time elapsed. So that remained to be the final discussions on that basis. Though it was condemned, any distribution was condemned according to the procedures of the uh, third committee, uh, that convention on the elimination of racial discrimination. That encouraged us. And uh, during that time also, Mr. Bajpayee came as the opposition leader and Manmohan Singh. They were sent by the uh, Pimina Shiva so when the Bajpayee came there, I went to see Bajpayee to attend the conference. So I went to see Bajpayee, myself and Mr. Hiraker. And uh, they said, no, 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 he came just as an opposition leader just to sit and observe. I said, no, 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 he is an opposition leader, he has to answer the questions who are concerned with Indians. So I asked Mr. Bajpayee, uh, I said, uh, I heard that you people are here to attend the conference on human rights. It's a great delight for us. But on the other side, the caste system and the untouchability, these are the subjects which should have been discussed at length here. So I asked Bashpai, I said, I heard you have destroyed the Babri Masjid in 1992, December, 6 December. So I said, you have done a great job in destroying the Babri Manji. I was sarcastic about it. That you could succeed in destroying it with the help of the Valmikis, which are Sri caste, in, Babri, in uh, taking thousands of our Valmiki brothers in uh, Ayodhya by paying them some money and forcing them also. If they don't come, their houses will be burned, etc. in Delhi. There is a nearly about 30% population of the Valmikis. I had a full proof on that one. So I asked uh, Bashpai, I said, you succeeded in doing that and you are likely also to come to power, which I understand. Now, my question is, are you going to change also the constitution of India? As I understand, that is one of the BJP agendas. Or you are going to leave the original constitution as written by Dr. Ambedkar? So he was stunned. When I, I asked him that question, he was not expecting that. So he said, no, 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 we are going to keep the Dr. Ambedkar's constitution as it is. Uh, we are going to continue with that. And then he was hiding the truth. So I said to him, Bosnia war was going on that time in the Europe. I said, if India becomes a Bosnia and the civil war starts there, only you people will blame for all the blood uh, in the happening in India and you will be held responsible internationally. And I shouted at it and I walked away. And there was a man by name Ghanekar who was a Times of India journalist. He came and asked my story, etc. I can really spoke because he was from Nagpur. And then he took the message to the Indian government CID department. So Mr. Ajad, Nabi Ajad, who was there on behalf of the Indian government, he said, sir, you don't know. You have not gone to India for 14 years and I was surprised that how in the world he knows it. So I left the matter there. But in the first draft of the United Nations, the resolution which was meant for Indian government, it was already circulated. So I said, okay, now rest, we'll worry about it. 
Then from there, I moved to the 1995, there was another world conference on World Summit on Social Development, that means eradication of poverty. So there I got very annoyed that the biggest starving population in the world was sitting in India. And that subject was not also for discussion. So I gave a very angry response to the media that how come, how can we even talk about this conference when there is so much starving of uh, the recent tribals in India. India had the highest amount of uh, starving people in the world. So the media picked it up, the political and the Berlin Country Tende, these are the two national newspapers of Copenhagen where the conference was held and they came and approached me about for an interview on that matter. So I gave the interview to both of them. They wrote half a page of article, how old uh, the child slavery is there, bonded slavery is there, and even trafficking of girls in the name of Devdasi system is there. So for their carnal prejudice, ye log ye bhi kar dete, bachiyon ko rape karna shuru kar dete, and then they enjoy on one side, on other side they said we don't want to touch. All those reports were brought in by the Denmark uh, uh, newspapers, national newspapers. So it had a lot of publicity and next day many people from the intellectuals among the Denmark came to see me at the at Copenhagen conference. Mandela and Pew uh, Narsero and Clinton, all these people had attended that conference. Uh, somehow I missed some of the good interviews at uh, time because I was wandering with a lot of uh, meetings and uh, observations, etc. Then that was in 1995. Then in 1996, there was a committee on, a third committee, which is a committee on elimination of racial discrimination, a committee on elimination of all forms of discrimination, that's the Convention of the United Nations. So, Usme, I was invited to participate in that. And recently there was a violation of human rights in Kodankaram. So, I had the report already from India, from um, uh, Ch Ch Madras, Ch near Chennai. Uh, which is the another name. And there I got all the information what actually happened. Our Dalit brothers, youngsters, who went to Middle East, met some money, came back, turned their huts into neat, neat houses, and they were enjoying their personal life, had nothing to do with anybody else. But they, they asked their parents not to go to work as a landless table anymore, obviously. So the Thewar community got so angry. That's the OBC community in the uh, Tamil Nadu, which is in majority. That how dare these people are just giving the jobs, leaving the jobs, and we don't have the labor here for us up there. So there are 350 families. So they decided to teach them a lesson. And they went into their area, houses. They broke the houses, they broke their frames, they broke their education material, they destroyed the TVs, etc., and beat the people also. So this was a major event that came also in newspapers. So somebody from Madras, they sent me this material, it was a perfect material for me. So committee on elimination of racial discrimination, I submitted that material and I said you can check anything. We have no problem with that because we don't tell you any false stories. So when the meeting started, India came with a full preparation. We have the biggest democracy, best democracy in the world. Uh, the caste system is eliminated completely in India. And uh, we are doing according to the United Nations conventions, etc. And I said, no, the real story is different. Then the Mr. The Garbala was the vice president of the committee. And Michael Benton was the chairman of the committee. They asked him the questions. How come you are saying that everything is eliminated? What is this report? 350 houses, which is equal to about 1,000, 1,500 people. They have been punished for no reason, just because they were living a peaceful life. They refused to be subservient. So India was stunned for the first time that they had been challenged at the United Nations level. This was the first time. And nobody could believe it, that how this matter came, how these slaves came up to the United Nations. That was their surprise. 